I'm Alex Gill with Anime on Location, and we're here at Matsuri Con 2012 with David Brem. It's been a year since we've seen you here. That's right. What, what's been happening? Oh, lots. Uh, we, uh, we literally just stepped off a plane from Australia and then hopped on another one to get to come here. So uh, we're excited about that. Um, we had a good time, and we're having a great time already. So it's been a great year. We've been very, very busy, but busy's good. This is always good. This is always good. Okay. We've talked about BLAP last time we talked to you. Uh, how has that been treating you? BLAP is going really well. Uh, we are actually getting ready to launch this fall. So uh, stay tuned. That will be coming out this fall. All right. BLAP, uh, by the way, stands for the Blue Logic Arts Program. So, And uh, you can see the beginning stages of it on uh, davidbrem.com, my website. Right. So it will progress to the bluelogicartsprogram.com website. Right. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. um, Willy nilly. Could you uh, tell us about it? Willy nilly are two cantankerous uh, armadillos uh, who uh, just get into trouble in the Texas Hill Country area and so forth. Uh, it's actually a webisode series. Also, probably going to come out next spring. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, your band, The Brems, has been up to a lot of stuff. Uh, what what has transpired since we last talked to you? Um, well, we had a we hit a milestone last year. We finally. We hit 100 gigs last year, or 100 shows, and uh, I think this year we're going to hit that next month. So we've been pretty busy on the music side, and uh, we're working on our next album right now. We uh, are actually going in the studio Monday and to finish up the first three tracks, and then we'll start the next three tracks after that uh, the following month. So we're going to release them as singles, so they'll start coming out in uh, November. Sounds good. Um, and as you said, uh, you're currently in the studio working on new stuff. What are your greatest influences in music? What, what inspires you? Wow, that's a loaded question. <laughs> uh, well, Stephanie and I have very similar tastes, but also very different tastes. And so she'll have a very different answer. But mine usually goes back to uh, the jazz side. So Wes Montgomery, George Benson, uh, grew up listening to Stevie Ray Vaughan. And then, uh, you know, I also liked a lot of other bands like The Cure, things like that. So there's a little eclectic mix there. So um, kind of a diversity of stuff, but mostly jazz. And I did like uh, Rush back in the 80s a lot. So. <laughs> no, Signals is one of my favorite albums, so I, I totally feel you. Okay, cool. All right. I still uh, listen to Rush all the time. <laughs> all right. Uh, your song, uh, Red Dress, is a top 10 chart. Um, what does it feel like being in the top 10? Well, that's uh, really cool. Um, it was... It was uh, it was a finalist in the USA Songwriting Competition, and then it uh, reached the Broad Jam Top 10. We're actually number four right now, so we need to get up to number one. <laughs> but uh, we're excited. We're really excited about that. All right. Um, you're also launching a new mobile app. Uh, what yeah. kind of features are going to be included, and uh, do you have a date that fans can go and pick it up on their Androids or iPhones? The, uh, the Android version is already out. It's just the Brems, and uh, the iPhone app is coming out probably next month. So, yeah. Sounds good. Um, are there any way fans can keep up with you online? I know we've mentioned uh, Blap's website. Are there any other ways that fans can contact you and see what's progressing? There's probably three main websites. Uh, first is mine, davidbrem.com, yep. and then there's uh, thebremsband.com. And then there's uh, my company, which is bluelogicproductions.com. So that's the best way. We have uh, contact information on all of those. Do you have any final words that you'd like to get out to your fans? Uh, I, we just love Ohio. We were so glad to be back. You know, this is our third year, and uh, three, third time's a charm, right? So we're excited. All right. Yeah. David Brem, everyone, thank you so much.